Hi guys, this is Chris recording from Riley Beach in Thailand and today we're going to look at Firebase. Uh, as you can see from the page here, they describe themselves as a scalable real-time back-end for your web application. And the promise of Firebase is it lets you build applications really fast without the hassle of managing servers. So that's kind of straightforward. But for you as a developer, what does that really mean? And for us to deep dive into what it helps us do is, you know, maybe look at your own Facebook page and look at several components of Facebook, real-time components of Facebook. And in my, in my case, we have here, you know, a notification section where you get notified about, you know, updates about your friends and whatnot. Uh, and, and as a developer, you start thinking, you know, I need to provide a way to notify uh, people about updates. And then you have this news feed right here, which is updated in real time as well. And as a developer, you start thinking, okay, how do I provide that in real time? And you probably can see there's a chat window somewhere on the lower right hand side. And that's another real time um, collaborative component of Facebook. And if you're asked to build something like this, you know, you, your, your head starts to, you know, explode. You know, I'm going to build a client side things I'm gonna build server side I'm gonna maintain a database and that's where you start you know it starts being complex in your head and that's where Firebase really shines because they, they try to um, force you to build everything just from the client side HTML and JavaScript and you don't have to build anything on Node.js or Rails or PHP or whatnot um, and how it does that before we get to that how it does that I just want to point out that they have this really cool interactive tutorial so right off from firebase.com you have this button it says build an a sample app in five minutes and it takes you to this page and it has eight steps it lets you build a, a full chat application within five minutes using firebase and this is really cool we're not going to go through the whole thing but this is the last page in here um, the, the point i want to make across on this page is that this code on the right side there's no scrolling or anything this is the whole chat application it's written on HTML and JavaScript and you have Firebase libraries and that's it there's no server side component and for us to understand you know for us to appreciate this you know you just have to understand how much work you need to put in if you're gonna put a, a, a server side component to this and maybe to describe that further let's look at this really simple presentation that I, that I prepared you know, comparing the way you would do a normal chat application versus, you know, a, a uh, the Firebase way of doing a chat application. So in here, the normal way, let's say you're, you have a friend called Alice and she wants to chat with, with her friend Bob and probably the world, you know, you'd, you'd want to build her a client-side, you know, application which is built using HTML, JavaScript, ASPX, you know, whatever. And then um, obviously you'd have this, um, this, this difference or this line between a client side code um, and going into the server side code, which is going to be, let's say it's PHP or Node.js or Rails. And you're going to have to build that as well, or you're going to have to get some manpower to build that server side code to um, capture that message from Alice. And you're going to have to commit that into the database for safekeeping, for, you know, for history purposes, for logs and everything. And of course, you'd need to bounce that message back to Bob and obviously the world who's, you know, this is a typical chat application. Now, the, the Firebase way of, of doing this similar application is not, not too different. You know, you still have the client side, you still have the main players like Alice, Bob, and the world. Um, you still have the differences between client side and server side. But the difference is when, when Alice sends a message, normally it would go to server side code. So, this is how it really works, but for you as a developer, this is, this is abstracted. You know, you don't have to worry about a server-side code. What actually happens, or what happens from, from your point of view, is that, you know, that message gets committed directly to the database, and any changes to the database, um, you know, all the, the listeners or, or the clients that you want to, you know, send messages to get notified that there are changes to, to this message. So if a certain Bob or the world is subscribed to that certain data that Alice is sending, then they're going to get that message. And you handle these messages on the client side using callbacks. So if you're a JavaScript developer, you might be familiar with callbacks, but this is the model that Firebase is doing. And you know, just, just going back to that application uh, that we saw earlier, um, I actually have it open here. We have Alice and Bob and I, I happen to have an IE uh, application here as well. So if let's say Bob says hello, um, 
it's supposed to send that message and say Alice says hey what's up um, no so I'm, I'm doing this from Thailand so connection might be quite slow um, but eventually it will sync and it will send that message across so as you can see there's there's kind of a no it's still churning but the point is you know you build that application from from everything is is handled here and let's let's start exploring this source code right here and we'll get back to the chat application um, so you can see on on the upper side uh, you have here you're just referencing the the Firebase uh, library right here uh, and then you have a couple of divs uh, and then you start to in instantiate uh, the, the Firebase uh, uh, your, your own Firebase repository and that's where you send messages to um, and this could be any data it could be a picture or whatnot and what you're doing right here in this section right here is whenever someone uh, sends a message you're just gonna have to send that over or push that over to uh, the Firebase uh, directory or, or you know whatever link you're sending to and the, the last part of this of the source code right here uh, is is this callback which you need to you know set up so every time there are changes to uh, you know the the data that you're subscribing to in this case the message from Alice this gets uh, called that's why it's called a callback so this will be called from from Bob's client or, or, or the, the world's client so that's how it works and and that's really basically it so it's not just a chat you know you, you could build multiple things with this not just a chat example you could you could have a um, you could have a drawing example so I'm not gonna click on this I want you to try it out go to Firebase and, and check it out so it's really cool uh, I'm not sure if that uh, uh, suddenly work uh, just tried IE I think it did yeah it synced yeah hey what's up hello so um, you're, you're having a chat and, and you're just doing it from HTML and JavaScript so it's it's kind of really cool you know um, I'm for you know I, I made this video so you guys could appreciate it but you know nothing beats trying it out yourself so you go to firebase.com and and build a chat application sample in five minutes they, they have a lot of other examples here you could you know aside from the drawing example it's real time so whatever you're drawing you could actually show on the other clients you have presence example so if you want to tell your friends that you're online or offline if you're, you're building such sort of components in your application you may want to try that out you have a leaderboard obviously for games and you have drawing and you have Tetris you know I, I'm, I'm planning to build some well, cool examples as well like uh, location-based chat you know I, I did that some time back so I'm now I, I used to build that with a server-side component no JS now I don't have to do that so I'm just gonna build it in, in Firebase um, so to wrap it up um, if you're building collaborative real-time applications and you're not really keen on building or not not so that, let's just say not keen but you know you'd rather get up faster than you normally would you might want to give Firebase a try go to firebase.com and and give it a spin so hopefully that was useful to you guys thanks